I mean, it, it kind of goes back to uh, my early days just before Powers when uh, I was working as a security guard. Um, uh, as some card auto dealership, and uh, I started messing around with these mice figures. I don't exactly know why I did it, but um, it kind of started out as the inspiration of like Secret of Nim and um, and Lord of the Rings and such. And I just had these vague ideas, and I started jotting down sketches, and, and I did this one short story, and it just kind of laid around for a while. And so I was ready to kind of attack it. And uh, at that time, I knew I wanted to bring somebody in to uh, really round it out a lot more, and that was Brian Glass, because I wanted to create an entire world and not just have a cool story about mythology. So uh, that's when I brought Brian in, and Brian went in and did his thing and, and made it much, much bigger than I ever expected to possibly intend to even think about. Much to his regret, <laughs> 25 issues later. Uh, no, it was my, Mike brought me in to kind of flesh out the universe, uh, created an entire mythology uh, the origin of the universe type stuff, uh, origin of the Templar, origin of mice, origin of everything they believe, uh, developed thousands of years worth of mice history and the Templar before they even fall, and uh, basically just took Mike's initial ideas that he presented me with and uh, did the same thing that we did way back on Ship of Fools, took his ideas and found a way to make them mesh in a uh, cohesive story storytelling unified world yeah yeah, yeah. well I, I'd say the world itself is definitely it's 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 heavily steeped in mythology um, and uh, and fantasy and we tried to create our own mythology kind of based on Celtic and and Greek mythology as well as you know a bit of biblical and just any sort of mythology that we really liked and for me the, the, the project my big contribution is more about um, the environment and the world that they live in uh, whereas Brian is handi handling the specifics of the story, I kind of gave him this vague six-issue outline at one point, which Brian turned into uh, 22 pages with a complete uh, entire world history um, that went along with it. So for me, it's it's more about th the sort of setting and the mythology and the fantasy and what all that symbolism means and such, uh, whereas Brian built the actual bones of the story. Uh, for thousands of years, the uh, anthropomorphic fantasy, medieval fantasy world that these mice live in have been governed by the Mice Templar. And in the generation previous of the, uh, the, the mice kids who start off in the story, the previous generation, the Mice Templar themselves, uh, went into civil war over ideological disputes and they destroyed themselves. And when there were very few survivors left, their ancient enemies, the rats, came in and totally enslaved mouse culture. So our hero is the mouse Carrick, who lives in a little village with his, his mother and his sister. Uh, uh, his father is dead from unknown reasons. And um, uh, he loves the ancient stories of the Mice Templar that no one else in the village likes to talk about. The adults are very anti anything to do with the Templar because they, they secretly feel the Templar betrayed them by getting caught up in their own ideological dispute. And uh, before the first issue ends, Carrick's uh, village has been destroyed, his loved ones, family are enslaved, and he alone escapes to realize that it is his fate to track down the survivor, the surviving Mice Templar in hiding, to become a Templar himself, to unify the scattered survivors, and to possibly overthrow the tyranny that's enslaved his entire culture. Yeah, and that's that. I mean, that's that's the nuts, nuts and bolts of the story, and this involves a large cast of characters, lots of backgrounds, lots of reveals of story layers and politics, cool inner politics. And Brian really laid it down, man. So I'm really happy with it. September, it ships from Image, and it is uh, the first issue is 50 pages of story. It's more than double sized, only charging four dollars. Um, then after that, it will be bi-monthly, and then we're going to take short breaks in between each story arc. Um, the story and the, the full story is being basically told in three large story arcs of I don't know five to eight issues, something like that, and it'll run tw about 25 issues or so complete out of yep. these three big trades. Just out of uh, a lot of what we've 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 built into the story is just uh, a lot of our heart and soul is important to this one. We worked on it a really long time, and um, you know at the same time we'd be remiss to not mention uh, Mouse Guard, which was being developed independently and separately of 
the book at the same time. We've talked with uh, David Peterson and the amazing Calvary. David Peterson. Pick yeah. up Mouse Guard. Yeah, so and pick up Mice Templar. Yeah, so we're working hard at like cross promoting the books. It's hard in this industry to get attention and to get you know proper attention to, to, to books and stories well done. So um, we're out there supporting each other and stuff. So there we go.